Okay, let's add some farms and fields and trucks and destinations to our iFarm. We do this ahead of time before the harvest season starts. That way we have everything ready for our operator. So all they have to do is simply choose what field they want. It's easy to do it on the iPad and we're gonna show you this example how it's done. So for the fields, we're going to go to the fields tab. This brings us to the growers page right away. Right now, all we have is an example grower. I wanna change this. Um, if you want to add growers, you can hit the plus button, but to change it, if you have an existing one, we hit the little I button. By hitting the I button, it brings a text field and we can type in any grower we want to call it. I'm going to call this one Mitchell Wood. And then I hit done. So that's updated to Mitchell Wood as the grower. The grower is on the highest level. Every grower can have multiple farms. They can have one farm or they can have as many as the iPad can hold, which in reality, there's no real limit to it. So we're going to change this. I'm going to call this one Home Farm. And I'm going to add another one called Indiana Farm. All right, so let's add a field underneath the home farm. So we can touch anywhere on this line. This brings us to the fields within the home farm. Right now I have an example field. I'm going to edit that first, hitting the I button. And I'm going to call it North field. It has an acreage of 56 acres for this individual field. And we're going to select what kind of commodity we're harvesting. It's important to select your, your commodity. That way it allows the system to know whether you're going to be mixing beans or corn or any other thing in the same bin. So it kind of gives you a heads up. Do you really want to mix this together? Keep stuff separately. Also, for the moisture sensor, it's required in order to get the correct calibration curve. So we're going to select corn on this one. Top corner, we're going to go back and see the north field. And you can see here that now we've selected corn. If I had transactions, basically unloads, it would all show up below here. We don't have any now because it's a new field. So let's add another field. We're going to call this the south field. And it's a field of beans. It's 100 acres. So south. 100 soybeans and we hit back that selects it and then make sure we have a text field again and hit done on the keyboard. So now we have our two fields in the home farm underneath the Mitchell Wood as the grower. So if we go back to the display, we can see that we're currently selected on that one because that was the last one we touched. If we wanted to change it, anything that's blue here, we can change this field and we can select between our north field and our south field and then we're done. Now we're gonna set up our trucks. Right now we have no trucks selected, which means everything that comes out of the field goes directly into the example bin. So we navigate to the trucks page. We have truck groups shown first. Um, we're gonna edit this number. So I'm gonna call this home trucks. I have two trucks at my location. That is for our own use. Hit done. So we tap the home trucks now, and now we're in the individual trucks underneath that group. So now we can go in and add another truck by hitting the plus button. I'm going to call this blue. And the tear weight and the max GVW weight, that's the information you can get off the side of the trailer or the truck. Um, these will change depending on it. So if your truck weighs a little bit more, let's say it weighs 27,000 pounds, your max GVW is still 80,000. And that tells me the total capacity of that truck. If I wanted to add another truck, once again, Hit the plus button and we're going to type in red. And this one is 25,500. Hit next and then hit done. And now we have two trucks entered into here. We go back to the display page and we can actually then select from the trucks option which truck I'm unloading into. Now we're going to set up the destinations. Currently, I am in the north field, unloading into the blue truck and unloading that blue truck into the example bin. Go to destinations. I'm gonna edit this destination group by hitting the I button, clear it out, and we're gonna call this home bins, done. Select home bins, and then now we have example bin. I wanna change that. We're gonna call this 
bin one. Bin one is empty, it has zero weight in it right now, and we actually empty out every single year, so we do not need to carry forward this through the season. If you leave it turned on, and you close out your season at the end of the year, which we'll explain in another video, it'll always show weight is there unless you transfer it out. But if we want to zero out, we turn carry forward through season off. So if you ever close out a season and you still see weight in your bins, that setting's been turned on. So we'll hit done, we go back, I'm gonna add another bin. So this will be bin two. Once again, turn off carry forward through season and then done. When I add weight to these bins, it'll actually take the crop commodity type and actually put it in here. So that way if I was doing beans and corn, it would give me an alert message if I was trying to mix them. So if we go back, we can see that bin two is selected currently. We want bin one, we would just touch it and have the check mark in front of it, but we want bin two and display. So now we're going from the north field to the blue truck to bin two. Now we're gonna go through and set up the operators in the iFarm app. If you have multiple guys or gals operating the grain cart and you wanna to track to see who was running at the time, this is where you would set that. So we navigate to the operators page. I have in here already um, example operator was just fa uh, from the factory set up. I also have Mitchell and my brother Spencer. Um, but let's say I wanted to change example operator to my sister and we're going to type in Becca. So now we have three different operators. If I wanted to add one, of course, I would just hit the plus button and then I could add an operator. So let's say we add my dad, Jim. So now we have our four operators that can operate this grain cart. Go back to the display page. Becca selected because she was the last one actually touched. So we'll go through and I'm gonna switch this to my brother Spencer. So now we're harvesting Northfield, blue truck, bin two, and Spencer's driving the grain cart. 